Wisconsin and Michigan State. This one, of course, in East Lansing. It's 4 p.m. Eastern time on Fox. And I look at this, and I see something interesting. I see a hook here. Michigan State plus 7.5 is the latest number over at BetUS. The total sits at 49.5. The underdog between these two is 5-1 and one against the spread in the last six uh, in their in their matchup between the two. Wisconsin 5-1 and one against the spread against losing teams, uh, but they are 0-4 against the spread after a straight-up win, which is what they got against Northwestern last week. Michigan State 7-2-2 two two against the spread at home in their last, uh, da, 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 let's see, 11 but they are 0-4 against the spread in their last four overall. They have not been playing well thus far this season. Schedule has a little bit to do with that. Now, of course, you bring Wisconsin into East Lansing. And my numbers here have got Wisconsin favored by 8.24, which is right on that number. Um, my total on this is lower. So I'm 40.15. It's what, Don't pay attention to my totals. That's probably not where you're going to get your best stuff because the totals have not performed well. Um, but regardless, uh, the number, the actual spreads have done pretty well this year. So we look at this. Jim Leonard, of course, is the new interim head coach. Things are looking good as far as he is concerned, especially with a whomping of Northwestern last week. But this is not Northwestern that they are playing. Michigan State's defense is pretty putrid. Um, number one twenty-two in PPA per pass, uh, but they're number one thirty excuse me, number 30 in PPA per rush on defense. So Wisconsin is going to have to be asked to throw the football to cover this game. I don't know that I like that. Like, Graham Mertz is is pretty good. Uh, you look at, uh, look at turnover margin, and Wisconsin is number 77 in giveaways per game. Michigan State's number 74 in takeaways per game. Michigan State's defense was much better at getting interceptions last year. That is one way that you can take advantage of this game is for Michigan State to create turnovers. Uh, I don't know if they'll be able to do that. Michigan State, by the way, number 29 in penalties per game. That's pretty good. Wisconsin, number 87. So there is an advantage there for that. I, With the way that Michigan State has been trending, I could understand people wanting to take Wisconsin. But this is still not a great Wisconsin team, right? You look at, uh, you look at Michigan State's offense, they, they're not great at running the football. But there's ways that they could score on on Wisconsin's defense. Like it's This is not a, a vintage uh, Jim Leonard defense. This is not Dave Aranda back there. This is They don't have the dudes right now to really do what it is that Leonard wants to do, especially in the secondary. So if you're Peyton Thorne, yeah, I know that you're number 90 in passing success rate, but you're number 53 in passing explosiveness. And so long as you got Reed back there, I mean, you've got a chance to really create something. I While my number says minus 8.24, I'm going to go Michigan State here. I especially love that I've got the hook on this uh, because I, I think that Michigan State can keep this thing pretty close. Uh, so give me Michigan State plus 7.5. Thanks for listening to Winning Cures Everything. Make sure and subscribe on YouTube or your favorite podcast app. And make sure to leave a nice five-star review. You can follow Gary on Twitter, at GaryWCE. And the show is at Winning Cures. Be sure to check out the merch in our web store and share the show.